Today, we are going to turn a set of Corsa and BeamNG into rally games. And why would you do something like that? Why? One, you don't want to install another game. Two, maybe you don't have enough room for another game. Three, because it's just damn cool to make a game do something that it was never intended to do. We're gonna start off with a set of Corsa. If you got a PC, you need a set of Corsa, hands down. You can turn that game into anything. So, what we have to do is go to the search engine here on Google, type in Patrick Bruner Co-Driver, and the first thing that pops up is patrickbruner.net. So go to download, and you can download different languages here, but V1.0.4 will have everything that you need to uh, get this going. So download that. Once you have it, install it. Now, here's the thing. Triple caution. You need to install it in the right folder. I, I installed it in a, some weird folder. For some reason on my PC, there's like three or four different locations that a set of Corsa resides. In my instance, I have it on my F drive. Go to this PC, a set of Corsa. Don't be fooled by that. You want to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then a set of Corsa. So you notice under, under apps here, you'd be under Python, and you see CodeDriver right there. So that's where it needs to go. So in the actual content manager, you should have content manager already if you have a set of Corsa. So go to settings, and then you want to go to a set of Corsa, and then apps, and you want to enable Python apps, right? And you want to enable CodeDriver right here. After that, all you need to do is uh, download some stages, right? So go to downloads, and then uh, my favorite place to, to find rally stages is sim tracks. You'll see these little green things. It'll say installing. Click that, and then go to downloads, then just hit install, and then you have that stage, okay? So now we want to get a car. So uh, yeah, go to race department, and you would go to a set of Corsa, AC cars, and then take your pick, baby, take your pick. You can also just use whatever you already have installed. Most of the stages that are the best in a set of Corsa are paved. So honestly, you can pretty much use any car you want. You don't need a, a specific rally car. So if you don't want to bother with that, don't, you know, don't worry about it. But um, there are some really great ones. I got the Ford Puma Rally 1 2022. A really cool thing about this, actually, you can use this for circuits, too. So if you have a particular circuit that you're struggling to learn the turns or it's a really long circuit like the Nordschleife, you can take the, the same tool here and you can have a co-driver for those as well. For instance, let's do Tsukuba. So here we are. We're on Tsukuba. So all we need to do is go to the right. You see right there, co-driver. Click that bad boy to where it's highlighted. And then I have it on, on the bottom left here. But... All we need to do is click. Recording the recce, drive smoothly, stay in the middle. There we go. You got your instructions. So the trick here is to not lose traction, no corrective steering, absolutely no corrections at all. That'll mess with the pace notes. Every time the, the steering wheel returns to center, that's gonna end that corner. It'll ruin all your pace notes if you if you mess up a single time. So if you're on a 20 kilometer stage and you mess up once, you're done. So here we go. Watch me straighten out here. There we go. Staying in the middle. No corrections. Be smooth. Don't lose traction. No jerky movements on the, on the wheel. No corrections. Because it'll... It'll... It'll determine if it opens and tightens by how much movement you have in the wheel, it'll automatically optimize it too. Um, at, at the end of the, the recce, it'll optimize the run to include like cautions and stuff like that. Another cool feature of this, one that's not really uh, talked about, is the fact that you can make your own stages with this tool. And you need to make sure and stop right on the end. Okay, so then we go over here and hit stop, the square button. So now we're at the uh, the start here. So all we do is press play. It's gonna give us a countdown here, and at the end of the run, it'll actually tell us the uh, the time of our run, and we can record it. Two hundred. Right, three very long titans. Break. 
80. Left six. And right flat, four left, three long Titans. So here's another example of what you can do with this tool. Osley Strakovi, there's multiple paths, right? Let's go ahead and set the, uh, the start point. You can, you can do it anywhere. Let, let's set, set the, let's set it up for right here. Okay, we'll go to our co-driver, record. Recording the recce, drive smoothly, stay in the middle. All right. And then, um, go through the recce. And then might be like, okay, well, this is far enough for the stage. Let's, uh, let's just make it that. And it, we have 0.2 kilometers. <laughs> right? So now we go back to that same start point. So I was right here. And then we hit start. You can make any layout you want. And there you go. Use it as you will. A set of Corsa. Your new rally game of 2023. And it only gets better from here. I have a friend that's working on the physics of these uh, these rally cars here. And the gravel physics are getting excellent. They are very close. They're not as good as RBR yet, but they might be soon. And they're damn good enough to treat this as a dedicated rally game at this point. If you don't want to venture outside of a set of Corsa, you don't have to anymore. Anyway, let's move on from this, and I'm going to show you Beam NG Rally. You don't need to go to the internet at all for this one. You just uh, go to Beam NG Drive, open it up as you would normally, launch game. This one's super easy to set up as a rally game. We got to wait till the main menu here, and we need to go to Repository. Repository! I'm positive you need to go to the Repository and eat some rigatoni. So what you want to look for, just go ahead and search Rally. What you want to download is called Rally Mode, Smart Co-Driver and Stages with Pace Notes. So go ahead and uh, click subscribe on that. And once you hit it, click it. Click the app here and go to Unpack right here. Unpack the mod. Now you're going to want to type in Pace Notes Core. This is a uh, the base system that you need to download to make this work. So download that, unpack it. Then all you do is go to Time Trials, select your course. You want to go to Italy. Scroll down and you see uh, Shakedown, Castelletto, Special Sage Castelletto, Fastello Castelletto, <laughs> Norte Portino, Paso del Ciurolo, and then uh, San Tel... Total Tego, or whatever. Anyway, these other ones that are not black background don't work with the Pace Note mod, at least not yet. Select one of these. You can pick the time of day, early afternoon, noon, late noon, afternoon, evening, sunset, night, sunrise. You got a lot of options here. Let's go ahead and stick with morning. Then pick your car. I recommend the Charrier or Charrier FCV class and scroll down to the... Uh, the vivis either the the gravel or the uh asphalt depending on what you're what, kind, what type of rally you're doing and go ahead and push play now here's a little trick here i found out that you have to restart before you even start in order to get rid of these sound effects i'll show you what i'm talking about you hear all the that those gate noises those virtual gates you don't want that, right? So yeah, so you push spacebar or whatever button you have configured to reset. And now they're gone. Another thing you have to do is go to options and go to audio. And then from here, scroll down until you get to other. Other is what the voice is listed under. I have it set to 8 for this, but I, I could do it a little bit louder, maybe like 10. Like, start start at around 10, and then uh, adjust it accordingly. Unfortunately, there you know, there's very few stages that have pace notes made for them. There will be more in the future, I guarantee it. Um, and this is also beta, so it, it's not going to be perfect. And why would you want to do Beam as a rally simulator? This is why. You make a small mistake? 
you fucked. So basically, it boils down to this. BeamNG has some of the best crash physics on the market. Actually, the best physics in general out of any game I've ever seen. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a lot of stages yet. It will have more guaranteed. As more and more people do this mod, they're going to see that, oh, there's a demand for this. Maybe we should do more. If you already have a set of Corsa, there's no reason not to have some rally in that game, right? You should own a set of Corsa. Buy it. Have a good day. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video. Easy to me, you gotta.